This looks interesting. And just who the hell are you? Well, if I'm really where that big sign says I am, shouldn't you know that? I'm neat. Your glasses are neat. You're not on the registry, but we do have information on you. You aren't supposed to be here. I'm dead, aren't I? Well, according to this, you aren't the type to believe me no matter what I say. I suppose you're right. Oh well, I'll just play it out. Hey, not to offend or anything, but I thought heaven was all white and fluffy. If it were all white, it would hardly be heaven, wouldn't it? Still, look at this place. Those clouds are filthy. I think I even stepped in shit back there. My house is cleaner than this. This is heaven, boy. We've better things to occupy our minds with than appearances. Tell it to the living. Hmm, you're an angel. Could you fix my head? It's a bit damaged. Mm, well, here's a band-aid. Thanks. Until we figure out what to do with you, you can look around if you'd like. But first we'll check up on you and your file of acts. Let's see what you've been up to, okay? Hmm. Oh my. Uh, oh dear god, no. Mighty Christ, why? Holy Lord, I'm gonna be sick! Ah! 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 Um, I'll just go over here. Ooh! Oh my god! It's God! Shh! Can't you see he's sleeping? I'll just be a second. Hey, God! Could I ask you a few questions? Hmm? <laughs> uh, what? What do you want? Well, maybe you could tell me what's been going on. With me, I mean. When did things start going so bad? I've been talking to dead rabbits and feeding bloody walls? I've done horrifying things with salad tongs! It's really eaten into my social life. <laughs> could you maybe come back some other time? I'm tired. Please? Just some simple answers. Nah, I don't wanna. What the hell's your problem, God? I created the universe, and uh, I just need some downtime. That was billions of years ago! Don't you think you should get up and pay attention to what's been happening in the world? Oh, sorry. I only created the universe. You're right. I should be out running laps. Do you have any idea what's going on down there? Hideous things! People are suffering, and people, like, well, me, <laughs> are running around! Suicide! Genocide! People are killing moose! You buy a video game system, and a better one comes out in a month! Powdered eggs? Self-esteem is so low, girls are buying winter bras! Do you see? Do you? God? Shh. Okay, this is gonna hurt quite a bit. But I suppose that's the entire point. I'm aiming for obscene agony, so if it's just mildly unbearable, do say something. Oh, I said I was really sorry. Aw, apology accepted. But I've already done so much damage here, it'd be mean to let you live like this. Oh, it really hurt. Am I dead yet? Sorry. Hmm, it's taking a little longer than I thought. I'll go make us some sandwiches and I'll come right back. Ow. Hey, do you want cheese on yours? Johnny C, I am Dame Delise, and I will be showing you around during your stay. Just because you don't belong here doesn't mean you cannot benefit from a visit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You should know that the squalor out front is more a reminder of what is being left behind. Though, as the vomiting angel told you, the appearances are trivial things here. Once behind the gate, things will look much more sanitary. Um, what the hell is this? This is life after death? No one's doing anything. Of course not. This is heaven. They're not bored as you may think. There's no need to do anything. No vices to feed, no urges to succumb to. Freedom from need, and no need to desire. In life, the only desire of these people was the desire to be content. So, why don't I feel this contentment? Because you do not belong here. You are merely visiting. So why aren't you like them? Because I'm in hell. Most of the service people are from hell. Cleaning up, guiding tours, working the registers. Contentment just wasn't my thing. Desire, on the other hand. I feel none of the peacefulness here. So I have plenty of time to think of other things. Like what? Like stripping your clothes off with my teeth and finding contentment some other way. Oh. Anyhow... There is an important lesson here. Understand that these people are not catatonic. They can get up and do as they please. In fact, they all have powers. 
highly destructive weapons of the mind. But there is no desire to use them, either out of respect or out of fear of retaliation. Here, the futility and stupidity of aggression is understood. That's very pretty. So you see, these are people vested with incredible powers, yet haven't the compulsion to use them. Now, listen carefully, Johnny. Though you feel none of the restful effects of this place, you do have some of these powers. You are here by some form of mistake, so I ask you to be very careful. What kind of powers? Well, it seems to vary from person to person. No matter what, though, any damage done is immediately reversed. So you must refrain from the thought of such things, lest you explode someone's head. Please don't do that. Quit it. No! No, stop! You'll ruin everything! My god! Are you kidding? I've always dreamed of having superpowers! This is just too much to resist! I have that explody! Now look, I'm all agitated. If you haven't noticed already, I'm just drawing clouds as a background. It's so easy and fast. I'm so freaking lazy. You know, I think all my backgrounds will be clouds now. No matter what, if I'm drawing an underground cave, there'll just be clouds. Bi-monthly, here I come. Hey, a blizzard over here. Okay, okay, game over. Let's stop. Keep it down, by Craggy, you filthy young fucking whippersnapper, poopy scuffin'. Poopy? You killed Grandma. Oh, I have to destroy you now. Cute. All right, that's enough. Look at this. This is your fault. I'm in so much shit now because of you. They'll probably stick me with making burritos at that giant Taco Bell they have up here. Go away. Hey, I didn't even ask to be here. You know that fat little lawn gnome of a god would answer some easy questions? I'm criminally insane. I don't know what his reason is for being so fucked up. And what's with those flying angel buddies? They're fucking creeping me out. Shit. I can't even die peacefully! I'm still as confused as always! I'm so sick of feeling like this! Sick! I hate this! Ugh, I'm sorry. I've just been having some dreadfully troublesome days lately. But you probably don't want to hear about that. I've made a mess of things here. You probably just want to get rid of- God, where the hell do you keep the mops? Meanwhile, in an autobiographical comic, Okay, from the time I began doing this comic series, I've been asked the same questions over and over again. What kind of music do you like? Where do you live? Why are you so skinny? Do you have a tapeworm? But most of all, I get this one. Are you anything like Johnny? Listen, single-celled members of the audience. Whether good or bad, the events I draw and write about are far more interesting than my life could ever be. That's why I depict these things, because I don't want to replay my own dreary little reality. But, so as to shut those people up, I have, in the classic tradition of more respectable, whiny, independent comics, created a typical set of moments for my life, stripped straight out of the pages of my diary. Woo! Those squiggly borders take a lot out of me. Sigh. Classic 2AM scenario. Still some panels left, and my body reminding me that it exists. Hmm, guess I should get out, drink something. <laughs> Okay, this is a slight exaggeration. The moon wasn't really full that night. Yum! A cherry ice sucky would be perfect right now, though a poor substitute for human blood. Stand back, mortal! I come in peace. Approach me, however, and I shall destroy all that is good in your life. I desire ice sucky. Uh huh? Gasp! I'm gasping. Sir, there seems to be a problem with this ice sucky machine. Please make my pain end. The machines go off at two. Buy something else. Buy something or leave. We have marshmallow treats. Try marshmallow treats. They are delicious. But, but I really want one. Couldn't you just turn it back on? I'll wait. Oh, how I will wait. I will wait until your children are wrinkled and gassy. Leave this place, strange little man. No sucky for you on this night. Hey, wait a minute. You're the devil, aren't you? No, I'm not the devil. Go away. Oh, come on. You're the devil. Yes, I am the devil. Damn 
you and your mighty wardrobe. You have annoyed the wrong clock, you skinny freak. Now feel my devil doom evil. I give you satanic envy. No! This is the result of my terrifying experiment with bundles and heads. <laughs> You win this time, Vasquez, but next time I might be closed. Cross my path again, and I'll fix it so that all you can draw is big blessed women! Shut up and turn the bloody machine back on. Hmm, man, am I full of energy? Maybe I'll drop dead cows on frat houses. Hey, what's that? Eat gats! Those aliens are stealing the Pope! Damn you, Vasquez! Back at my fortress of doom, the bow. At this hour? Wow, nobody ever calls me this late at night. No, no. Sorry, you've got the wrong number. <sighs> when does life start getting interesting? Oh, what's the matter, Jonah? Let me guess. Hell, right? Oh, we do get the sharp ones down here, don't we? Ooh, the devil! Hello, I'm me! Yes, I know. I've been expecting you. As soon as we heard about your little heaven encounter, we figured they'd dump you on us. They're always gracing us with their excrement. You're mean, Mr. Devil. Oh, do refrain from calling me by that silly name. You people are always dreaming up new names for me. You will address me by my proper, distinguished title. Senor Diablo. Will Mr. Satan do? Yeah, okay. Okay, first of all, let me tell you that you don't belong here, so you can't stay. I've no need for a soul I can't take. I don't belong here either? What the hell is going on? Now, come along. I must find someone to unload you on. I've better things to do than play tour guide to a confused little bother. I wonder if you can kill the devil. Hmm, aside from the total lack of people, hell looks a bit more alive than heaven. In fact, it looks a lot like the normal world, just empty. Oh, no. This is just one of the abandoned areas. The damned are constantly trying to build better places, always moving. They keep away from these empty parts. There's no point if they aren't being seen. Hey, speaking of churros, do you know God's horrible with answering questions? He wouldn't help me understand what's been going on, rude little man. Of course he didn't. It's a blasphemy to question God, isn't it? Seems to engender blind worship or disillusionment. Bitchy sit, no. I, however, have no problem with giving answers. There is such amusement in seeing the joy in someone when they think they have just gotten smarter. Allow me to clear things. You, little man, carry the distinction of being a waste lock. Um, that sounds bad. Nonetheless, it's all quite necessary. I'm sure you wouldn't argue the point that the pre-mortem is riddled with pains, traumas, horrors, and other such unpleasantries. Well, it's nothing compared to a world without waste locks. Know that, for all its troubles, the world is perfect. Flawless in its beauties and turmoils, violence and nightmares, being a natural product of humanity. If you had proper eyes, you would see more than just the act of the human negative. You would see the residue of it. Sewage, in a sense. People leaving trails of slime like slugs. Slugs in dockers. And like any waste, it accrues. You would see people walking through this sick, unknowingly wading through it, like leaves from a forest of horrors. And it collects at a manic pace, what with humans incessantly shitting into the ether, if you will. It must be managed, and it is stockpiled in specially cleared out spaces. Prisons, almost. Since pure aggression is a rabid thing, eager to breed and coat everything in itself, these cells can be anything, objects, points in space, pimples, etc. Each cell is assigned a lock to stabilize fluctuations and maintain the seal. 
Of course, locks, whether humans, dogs, or weasels, never know what they've been doomed to be. God, I love that word. Doom. For those dense fucks who grow weary at the absence of sophomoric violence, here is a little boy being attacked by his cuddly gerbil. Sane or damaged to begin with, they all share a common demeanor. Introverted, quiet, and of no threat to anyone but themselves. Inevitable, they degenerate, collapsing into a quiet mental dissolve. I don't claim to know who runs this operation. But they must have been ill upon choosing you. Seems you were quite sick to begin with. Then, having all this muck go through you set off some new amusement. You were anything but quiet. Seeming to become almost an extension of what you were charged to contain. Messy, but I thought it was funny. Still, as always, it worked. A system as old as malice itself. You expired, leaving nothing but nothing for the affluent to escape into, thus effectively flushing it into oblivion. They, then, use a sort of backup disk to reinstall existence. Neat, huh? I'm a flusher? Precisely. Shit! Exactly. Not that you could ever understand, but he is... Wobbly-headed Bob. They're just machines. Simple machines pre-programmed to play their little games, punch their little heads, and fondle their little privates. I could teach them so much, but they do not listen. Oh, how I long for escape. Do not fear us. We are from very far away, even farther than that. We are a peace-loving people, an advanced race with no need for groins. Violence is a thing of the past. Neat, huh? We exist for the pursuit to excel in the fine dramatic and scientific arts. Prejudice is forgotten. There is no slavery to one's own physical urges. There is no such thing as misunderstanding. We come in search of life forms. Yes, a perfect specimen to take home. Paradise. Oh, finally you've come. Deliver me from this stagnant cesspool of mediocrity, yes! At last, to be amongst minds expensive enough to appreciate me, wise enough to... Huh? Oof! Ah! Yard! Yard! Oof! My thingy's bigger than yours! No! Mine's bigger! No! Mine! Mine! Cosmic stench of Uranus! What a perfectly stupid specimen! Please, come with us! Only room for one. Okie dokie. Cool. Maybe there be chicks up there. No, please. Hey, let me see your thingy. Come on, get in. I'm supposed to show you around. I wanted to wash my car, but they pretty much ruined that. So fucking hurry up. Look, girl. This ain't gonna be no big fancy deal. I figure a few times around the block and then I kick your ass off my clean seat. Um, okay. And my name isn't Girl, it's Johnny. Hey, move it! Every place I have to be is important! Whatever. Hey, Johnny. Wait, I thought you were familiar. You fucking killed me! I remember you! You were next to me at a stoplight. You were driving that little gray piece of shit. I made a joke to make my friends laugh and... and... Next thing I know, I'm in a cage, being forced to eat my friend's parts, with you screaming, My name is not Faggot! It's Johnny! My name is not Faggot! It's Johnny! For weeks! You shit! And then you took that big screwdriver and stuck... And... and... It's okay, I'm alright! I think my spine has exploded, but I'm fine! This is hell. No seas of fire, rivers of blood. Puddings of shit? Ooh, clothes. I'd love to change into some different ones. I've been wearing these for some time now. So long as you can afford it, you can have anything you want. Money? Oh man, the devil makes you need money? The devil doesn't make us do anything. So why use money? This is stupid. How retarded are you? you? Use money to buy new cars, to wear impressive clothes to get popular haircuts. Get it? Everyone wants these things, you idiot. Now get out of my store. I see. Good day, miss. Shit, this is awful. 
At least alive, there were nice people mixed in with the social maggots. Ooh, bagels! Hey, you look hungry. What say you let me buy you a bagel? Kindness to a stranger. Um, yeah, okay, thanks. It's very kind. Why the hell are you here? I must be here by mistake. No other explanation. Yeah, hardly a flawless system they're running here. So, until the mistake is fixed, I have to live here with these fools who've made this place into their own hell. Fussing over stupid details, all while the devil just sits back and laughs. Excuse me a second. Excuse me, but I don't seem to have enough cream cheese to cover both halves of my bagel. Could I have more, please? I'll be an extra 50 cents! Dear God! Why hast thou forsaken me so? Hey, Hill makes a yummy bagel. <laughs> hey, are you okay, eye rubbing person? Uh, it's nothing I can't handle. Nothing else than me running and screaming into the street like that fat moron does every day. This place is full of fools who couldn't handle inconvenience. I'm fine. Oh, good. Then I'll just be. <laughs> My contact lenses! <laughs> um. <laughs> Damn you, Lord! Damn you! I will not wear glasses! I will not! Ah! The pain! The pain! My kingdom for some daily cleanser! I know what you're thinking, but there's a reason they act this way. It's the giant eyeball in the sky. There's only one, but everyone thinks it's watching them. It's the eternal audience, so they think they have to look good. But there are enough of us who are aware of the giant eye. We can change things, slowly but surely, no longer to be governed by... Um, oh dear. Lint! Lint, holy lord, it's Lint! Shut up! Heaven forbid I should go near a black light. Here, to take your mind off the lid for a while! Oh no, I just had this coat dry cleaned! You people! Shit! You're all idiots! I'm into being weak and catering to some minor transgression or two, but this place is sick! But I won't let myself give the issue respect by addressing it any further. You stink! Focusing on the mundane, money, fashion, cream cheese! You ain't hell and you're too stupid to know it! I wish you- Johnny, come on. A cheerleader? Pure evil! What do you want? Oh, it's me, silly. Senior Satan. You didn't seem too disturbed the first time you saw me. I thought this would do the trick. Anyhow, you're being sent back. You get to live again. Rah, rah, rah. You have to go. Yes, I suppose I do. But being sent back, does it hurt? My head still hurts. <laughs> no, it won't hurt at all. Though some people say it is the most excruciating thing they've ever known. Your hair might fall out, but then you'll wake up feeling rested and new. That's terrible. It'll be like coming out of a sleep. So what's wrong with that? You people are always sleeping. I detest sleep. I have better things to do. Besides, I find it frightening. To awaken and be uncertain. Unsure of everything you remember about life not being just part of a dream. Waking means I've slept, and sleep dissolves what certainty I have left. Nevertheless, you have no place here, as you belong to something else. The people here won't listen to you. They are here because they're stupid. But think of the brighter side. You'll have control again. Who knows if and when you'll ever be a flusher again. Rah! So shut up, silly. Rah! What about this coat? Do I get to keep the coat? What? No, you can't keep it. Quick, now, before you are gone, would you like me to conveniently divulge the secrets of your tragic and mysterious origins? Wait, so I don't get to keep the coat? It fits me perfectly. And this lining. Would you forget about the coat already? Aren't you at all interested in... <sighs> Fucking women! Fucking men! Hey, baby, I just got a new car. You wanna screw me in? Sweet Jesus, I have nothing to wear! I'm so depressed. I wish I could kill myself again. Look at my ass! It's huge! Hmm, the world exists. I must still be alive. Hello? Hello? Hmm, no answer. No voices. No doughboys. Nothing! It's just me. It's so quiet now, huh? Just me and a talking Bub's Burger Boy. Or is that just my voice I'm hearing? How can I tell? I'm not used to this. Being in control. I wonder if I'm still crazy. Go find a cheerleader and saw her legs off. Okay, that answers that. Still, I feel so strange. Unfeathered. 
Things can be different now. This is big. I must think this out. It's important. I'm at the threshold of something grand and new. Dumpy, I don't think my mom would like me looting graves. Screw your stinking mama, poker. I need me some new shoes. <laughs> The monkey, he see me, but me don't see the monkey. He punched me in the head, head punching monkey. Skittles drinked my head juice, corn. Our hero battles bravely in the trenches. Let's watch. Get up, Joe. Don't give up. I won't leave you. You is my brother. Get out of the street, you loony. I won't forget you. I do mighty kung fu kick for you. Look, Daddy, it's that squiggly wiggly man. Run over his head. Okie dokie, I'm a chokey. I don't know, son. Make him dead, Daddy! Make him dead! Yeah! I want tacos! Service me, Martha! <laughs> Nougat! Wow! Disperse all ye fucking people! I am now the noodle boy that flies! I am like a flying potato! Taboo! Bow down or I will unleash my zoinky army of surly crack babies! I am chock full of flying karate chop action! Hey! Those shoes with that dress! What were you thinking? I'm going to fly into your butt! Prepare all assets for vicious entry! No! God damn it! I said I wanted my bagel toasted! Remove the booby harness! <sighs> Look up there, Marty! What'd it be? I don't know, but I don't like it. Whee! Your very own Noodle Boy poster! Full color, black and white! Not poisonous ink! Dear God in heaven, what a wondrous thing to own! You must have one! you do anything to get one! You'll punch nuns to get one! You'll suck the blood out of a wounded puppy! What the fuck is wrong with you? Just get a marker and draw your own, you idiot! It's a bloody stick figure, for Christ's sake! Dear Diary, I've been to heaven and hell, and I still don't know if there is a god or a devil. Still, it's something to write about.